morning guys it's uh 10 10 at 10 a.m just turned as i saw that what a trip uh welcome to the 10 10 10th gate activation <laughs> these uh these gate activations that we go through is really a portal that allows various energies to flow through and um higher dimensional awarenesses and higher states of consciousness to be obtained um, that's truly all it is uh, that's uh, quite interesting as I look back to the first of this year as we were entering 2012 and it seems like yesterday and here we are now literally two months from the 12 12 12 um, it seems like everything has happened so fast it really does um, My suggestion, I've had many people um, message me yesterday about, uh, you know, let me back up. Yesterday after that video, I had several people comment worried about their own personal ascension initiation process. And um, the ascension initiation process is really for those guys that want to build their spiritual race car. Um, to ascend and to go through this process uh, as the collective there's not going to be a whole lot of people that uh, are working on their higher initiations in the manner that I speak about there was only 8,000 in all the previous worlds prior to um, the one that we're in now and up until 2009 there were only 8,000 people all total that had gone through this initiation process what I described to people um, in ascension mastery initiations is how to build that spiritual race car but it is not a requirement for um, for ascension all one has to do eh, it's attached all one has to do for um, uh, ascending is to shift their consciousness from their head to their heart and um, truly all they have to do for ascension to go through this process with the collective is just to decide they wish to um, decide they want to ascend and um, and to be sincere about that to be heartfelt about it if one is the process will unfold because it's just like the first ascension initiation um, ascension mastery initiation the first ascension initiation is a, a, a decision to realign with source realign with God to go through the process to to ascend to go back up the same way that we came down we descended in fragmenting ourselves as we came down to the state that we've mm, experience this lifetime for each of us as individuals um ascension is just the process of remembering or putting back together that which we fragmented from um and anybody can take as long as they wish anybody can go whatever route they wish it's a free will um life is free will on mother earth except for these times of ascension that's going on right now and you're gonna have a choice either to ascend or not to ascend that's the question <laughs> sounds kind of shakespearean huh <laughs> to ascend or not to ascend that is the question <laughs> um ascension is um stepping out of the problems with duality and the confusion that's caused by the living from the plurality in the brain um, when you're always in that state of duality you're in a state of chaos and we've all experienced that um, uh, to great degrees throughout this lifetime and of course it gets more and more intense the closer that we're coming up on this dimensional shift the closer that um, we're coming to what's termed the end time the end time is only the transition of the old age and 
in stepping into the new age. Um, that's all it is. It's, it's, you know, what we're going through, uh, is not a big deal. It's, um, we do this every so often to increase our capabilities, to raise our consciousness, to experience a new way of living so that we're not always constantly repeating the same, doing the same thing over and over and over. And each cycle, we tend to have a generalization of what it is we're here to experience that we do over and over and over in multiple lifetimes within that cycle so that we can experience all that there is from that cycle and um, this past cycle was a cycle of duality and it was the furthest separation from source from who we truly are from our memory and our knowledge of who we are truly are um, we forgot who we were so that we could be the farthest from source and have the experiences in duality. Um, the ascension is the awakening and remembering, putting back together of those pieces and those understandings and that consciousness that, um, that we had separated ourselves from. It's not a big deal not everyone has to ascend it's it's not a problem if they are not through with their conflict with their you know experience of the lower vibrational chaos if they're not through with you know controlling others or being controlled or going through their uh karmic learning process because that's all karma is 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 um something that binds you to the learning process until you learn your lessons and have completed that and have had enough and say i'm ready to go on to something different and when you do that then you're choosing to ascend you're choosing to go to the next level um a lot of people may not be um ready for that completion at this point in time and that's totally up to them we cannot take anybody with us. I don't care whether it's your mother, or brother, or sister, or father, or daughter, or cousin, or friend, or what it is, um, who it is. We cannot take anybody with us. We can only show them the way um, by doing it ourselves, by being um, a lighthouse, a guiding light. Someone who is going through the process that they can look at and say, Man, that sure is magical for that individual. I would like to be like that. And all you have to have is that desire. If you have that desire to have a magical life, if you have that desire to, to truly empower, enlighten yourself, you'll get there. All you got to do is focus on it. Our thought creates our reality. Um, the energy follows our thought. And that is just the process of manifestation. Um, choosing to ascend is just a part of that process of manifestation. You, when you say and you invoke it, and you speak it forth, after you've had that thought, the vision of it, you speak it forth to invoke in it, and you truly feel it from the heart, it'll happen. Don't worry about it. So there's, there's some people that are waking up now that are worried about, what level am I on? You're on the level that's perfect for you right here and now. Um, don't really worry about it. I describe the process so that we can have a method of communication about what it's like to go through these certain steps that are on the initiation process. Um, I've been going through mine for a long time. Uh, a lot of people are just now waking up and choosing to go through theirs now. Um, when you look at what I just said about a long time, that's all relative. What took me so many years to do because of the densities of, um, that we were living in, that I was living in, the frequencies of Mother Earth being so slow, what took me lifetimes to do and throughout this lifetime to do and to remember um was because those 
vibrations were so slow. It was so dense here on, on Mother Earth. Uh, people are going through their process now in months of the same things that took me many years to do. It's just like activating my heart chakra. That was something that I'd wanted to do since the 80s. But uh, when I finally set my, my sights on it and went, this is... You know, I want that in love bubbly champagne glass feeling all the time. Um, when I finally decided that, that was in 2005, at the end of 2005. And uh, it took me until the end of 2009 before I completed that process. Um, that's, uh, you know, that's four years, better part of getting closer to five. Um, but it, uh, what took me so long was because the frequencies of Mother Earth were not very high at that point. I'm seeing people um, do in months what took me many, many years to do because the frequencies of Mother Earth are so much higher. And there's so many people, so many people in the collective that have gone through this process and are putting their experience into the grid that others are, and you can consider the grid like the Akash, the planetary Akash, the collective Akash, for others to experience. And others, all they have to do is choose they wish to go through this process, and then they can draw from all the experience that the rest of us who have gone through our process have put to the grid. Um, it's like writing a book. Uh, many people are going through their process at huge uh, rates of speed in comparison to those of us that came before and I'm so thankful for that because uh, it's that which really changes the collective we've got to have a critical mass number of persons um, awake aware going through their process to bring the collective through this shift. We reached the magical 144,000 mark after Venus transit, but to actually go through the collective dimensional shift, um, we've got to have a critical mass number of persons um, who have gone through their process. Not everybody who is going to ascend is going to go through the ascension mastery process. It's It all depends on, you know, a choice of mastery or just a choice of you know just living in your heart um, and both is just fine there's there's no better or worse it's um, it's just is what it is uh, the tenth gate activation wow the the large gate activations like this are for the collective um, it's for those who are doing it as groups um, there's a wave that uh, came just behind the first wave of us um, that went through um, that we're here and awake earlier in life there's a wave that has come behind us that woke up a little bit later and um, they are collectively going through their higher initiations at this point and that's what a lot of these gate activations like the 1010 today are all about um it's just a portal for higher energy and higher consciousness and higher uh, possibilities to come through for all those who choose to explore it and take it and um and you get it on the inner realms and that's just how it works it's nothing you're not going to find out anything from the exterior it's all on the inside and you've just got to be able to tune to it to, it's like going into a room with a whole bunch of gold rings hanging from the ceiling and which ones are you going to grab um that's kind of what it's like anyway we're coming up to the end of this video um guys thank you all for um going through your various processes everything that you do helps to feed the collective and the greatest thing that we can do at this point in time is to raise our own personal frequencies our own light as high as we can get it that that which looks like service to self there is actually service to others well we're at the end of this vid now love you guys bye for now